Welcome back to the campaign map in my first ever Let's Play featuring Sweden in a Battle War. Now, I just finished off my uh, my enemies who were outside Ingria. And uh, as you can see, you know, not a problem. Easy battle. Sweden won, as always. And he has been punished for straying March. too close. Hramot. March. Hopefully, the... Uh, the memory of that humiliation will keep him away for a while. Because I have to finish off Hanover. I'm not going to finish off Hanover until the next turn though. As you can see, my troops are still recovering. Now... With Königsberg and Gdansk in Poland Lithuanian hands, I can take them for myself. And yes, that is exactly what I'm going to do. So in um, next turn I'm going to start making a huge army in Ingria, or in Stockholm as well and sending it over to Ingria. And this army will be used against Russia, while the army currently in Hanover will be used to punish the Poland Lithuanians and take their lands. And their women, and their children as well. Now this this general, he is amazingly good. Just look at all those stars. Hero of the army, plus four morale in battles. <laughs> yes, gotta love this guy. Campaign movement range, you know, recovery chance of battle casualties. He is an MI's assassination chance. Great general. Uh, he's bloody though. That's the only bad thing about him though. He is a great general, this guy. And uh, therefore he is going to be awarded by... I'm going to let him destroy Poland Lithuania. This is a sloop. Uh, this is a sloop that I'm using as a troop transport, actually. I used it uh, for the gentleman. I believe I am pretty much finished with this turn, unless there is something else I have to do. And I don't think there is. Ah, uh, yes, of course, I have to secure trading ports in... Well, trading slots in uh, the Ivory Coast. Since the pirates are now dead, there are no longer pirates there. This means that I have to secure as many of the trading slots as I can. Now, why is that one not taken? It is, it's just, okay. And that was barely, I could barely make it this time. <laughs> that is the Knights of St. John. If I'm not mistaken, that is Malta. At least that's what it was in real life, so I sh think it should be Malta. Yes, it is. Okay. Once again, how such a small, small nation, or faction, whatever you want to call it. How they can have improved settlement, fortification, royal palace, and a huge navy. I, I I just don't know. Okay, I think that should be it. Next turn. It's big as big as army. These are the European powers still fighting among amongst themselves. Although I am fighting two European powers, I don't really cons... Well, at this time I guess they are, but... I'm talking about Spain, the Netherlands, or United Provinces, as they're known. France and the United Provinces. I already said United Provinces, didn't I? Well, France and the U United Kingdom. And all these countries just being bastards to each other. It's not very nice, is it? Now, I think Prussia is interested in trouble, because they've been at war with so many people for so long, and they recently lost two of their cities to Poland Lithuania. Of course, this is a good opportunity for me, because now I don't have to declare war on Prussia to get those provinces for myself, which is more of the Baltic coast for me. And since my goal is to control the entirety of the Baltic coast, that is good news. And yes, here we go. Lots of ships have arrived here. 
Yeah, there we go. Now, I hope I can actually secure that one as well. We'll see. It's an Indian event being finished over here. Better build a trading port there as well, like I said. And that should be uh, four. Uh, Dagestan, okay, well, I don't care about them. Ah, yes, dockyards are finished. Excellent. Fourth rate, ship of the line. Now, what is better, fifth rate or fourth rate? You know, people would assume that a fifth rate is just, oh, so much better. It does have a lot more hull strength, it does have a lot more guns and men. Its maneuverability is low. It's just medium with this one, though. Hmm. <laughs> It's it's not bad actually. Might want to get one or two of them just uh, so that I have something to show off. Uh, Denmark should be quite happy. Uh, I think at least they should be. And I should not forget that what I should be using my money on right now is an army. I can only make, yeah, two each turn here, which means I'll upgrade my drill school and a great arsenal. Should probably do the great arsenal first though, shouldn't I? It's four turns, turns that's three, so they'll finish at the same time if I build the other one the next turn. I'll do that, I'll do that. Yes, these are all the trading ships that arrived. Now, I'm not sure what to build right here in Denmark. I want to build a weaver's cottage, or crafts workshops as it's called. However, happiness might be an issue. It might be. Then again, I have dragoons now, so I can just make dragoons. Will there be more towns in uh, Denmark? There will, okay. Yeah, then I'll make a weaver's cottage, why not? And it's time to finish off Hanover. I think. Now, once again, you can see he has lots of fire lock on citizenry. This is going to be an easy battle, so I'm going to have to resolve that one. Now, I did lose half of my troops. Over a thousand men. But, uh, you know, just, it, it would have been very easy to play. Hmm. Yes, yes it would. So Hanover is destroyed. I am now bordering the United Provinces. Hmm. Maybe... I should get an alliance with Great Britain and the United Provinces. Because these guys are enemies of Prussia, France and Spain. I don't want to be enemies with France and Spain, however... I feel that it would be better than... The United Provinces and uh, Great Britain, because they are Protestant and I don't want to be at war with any Protestants. Uh, please accept the trade agreement. Military alliance... You, well, with the, you don't have any ally... Eh, no! No, just just no. Go away. Now, uh, Great Britain is friendly with me, so maybe they'll trade some technology. They have seasoning. Oh, I want to see seasoning. Maybe. Would you be off that? No, no, they wouldn't. Not at all. Wow, they have a lot of technology. That's kind of impressive, actually. And I believe, yes, 100% Protestant, Protestantism. And for some reason I have difficulty saying that. So I can send my little missionary to Courland to reverse the damage that Paul Lithuania did. Also, this is just a garrison that I have in Courland right now. Uh, this is not... I'm not gonna put these guys into an army. I'm not gonna send them to Ingrid to be part of the new army being recruited over there. I'm going to let them stay. For now. So... I think I need more line infantry, to be honest, right now. I'll make some cannons next turn. I also have to replenish my whole army and rebuild here, which will be very expensive. 
I might have to turn up taxes. No, actually, I'm making 9,000 each year now, so... Should be fine. It's just unfortunate that you can't do the naval bombardment thing that you can in uh, Fall of the Samurai, because that would be so fun to use my navy as. Oh, to use it for naval bombardment. However, I feel in this game, the navy d does still have a major use, which is since it's so much about trade, this game. It's so much about trade. Uh, no, I don't want to give you military access. However, I can give you the technology you seek. If... What? No. Of technology. Why can't I offer the technology he wants? He just asked for it. What? I don't, okay, well, I can give you plug bayonets. In exchange for... Terrorism. No? Okay. Too bad. Wow, he has a sizable army. I really don't want to be at war with him. However, I really don't want to ally with him as well, because then Spain and France might get angry at me. Ah, not to mention Prussia. And if you don't know provinces, take Hanover. It's not a big loss, to be honest. I can live with that. Now, that army, as you can see in uh, this little bastard right here, okay. He's obviously going to try to sneak around and take a stone in Livonia. And I'm not going to let that happen. No way. Not on my watch. Scholar. But he does have a plus one research, normal one. So I will send him to my little... My little school, you know, dance when I'm doing the important military attack. Now, I don't know if the advantages of a socket bayonet are that much better than the ring bayonets. I believe the ring bayonets make you guys a little worse at shooting. Uh, but I think the socket bayonets don't. So the socket bayonets just... Okay, they're not as... But they're actually a bit better. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Now, in Yathaborg, I'm supposed to do the uh, these basic attacks, and I'm going to. So they're measuring tools. Um, better roads. Yes. Yes, yes. That is a good thing. Upgrading my mines is also a good thing, though. Should not cannon. Uh, yeah, reload time. That's important. I'm gonna gonna do that for now. Ah, another, another fleet ready to help with the trade. And here we go, Russia still has a big uh, fleet in South America, at least I assume they do, so I'm not going to send my little Indiaman down there. I believe it's too risky. Commercial port. No, actually, <laughs> I have to use all my money to replenish my armies and stuff like that. I've forgotten about that completely. This is definitely what I should be using my money on. No doubt. No doubt. And make a new school. Hmm. And uh, that was that. All that money gone. I need about a thousand. Where can I get that? I can stop the Indiaman over here. There we go. And I can stop some of the retraining in Hanover. Um, let's leave that one, shall we? And hope that is enough. I don't believe it is enough. Oh, wrong cannon. Oh, just barely not enough. Oh, I'm, I'm missing two. Oh, wow. Okay, stop the general then. And that should do it. There we go. Oh joy. Now this is slower than it was in Ingria. I don't know why. He might speed up after he stay there for a turn, but I'm worried. Can this army actually reach around? What? 
Was that only horse artillery? He only has horse artillery. I really hope he's stupid enough to come close. Because uh, that'll get crushed easily by pretty much anything I have. I can just send out a general and a one, un one horse unit. No. Don't believe there's much else, else I can do right now. I want to. I want to have a trade agreement with you, Prussia. Come on. Don't be stupid and ask for other things. Why do you want military access for a. Ah, of course. He wants to attack the United Provinces, doesn't he? What would that do you? You're at war with Pond Lithuania. You need to take back the territory you lost. But okay, hey, if that's what you want, that's what you want. I'll uh, give you that. Hmm. Would it be worth it to be enemies with Spain and France in order to be allied with Great Britain and the United Provinces? I don't want enemies yet, though. I want to finish off Poland, Lithuania and Russia. However, if I keep staying the lone wolf that I am, I'm going to be easy targets for countries like Great Britain and France. And And the United Provinces might not hesitate in attacking me and taking Hanover once uh, I'm once I relieve Hanover of my army. Oh, and Prussia has declared war on me after I give them military access. Well, that's stupid, stupid Prussia. Why would you do that? You're at war with pretty much everyone. Don't you have enough enemies? Oh well, I'll be happy to take your lands. And he has huge armies, though. Wow. Really? Really? Um... Okay. Why would do you have that that big armies and you don't take back whatever Poland Lithuania took from you? Why? I know Poland Lithuania isn't as powerful as that. Nowhere near. Well, it looks like I'll have to fight this one, folks, so I will see you back on the battle map.